10 warning signs of low oxygen in your blood. Have you ever experienced symptoms like shortness of breath, a racing heart, blue lips, dizziness, excess sweating, or you're just confused for no reason? Those are warning signs that you have low oxygen in your blood. Low oxygen is a serious condition that can cause cellular damage, which can be life-threatening. The brain is the organ most at risk, as brain cells can die within five minutes of being deprived of oxygen. Therefore, if you observe symptoms of low oxygen, you should seek medical help immediately. In this video, we'll outline the 10 warning signs of low oxygen in your blood. One, headaches. You can have headaches due to stress from doing too much work, but when it becomes frequent, there's a problem. Headaches are common symptoms of various medical conditions, and low oxygen in the blood, known as hypoxemia, causes frequent and severe headaches. When the brain doesn't receive enough oxygen, it triggers chemical and psychological responses, leading to frequent headaches. Low oxygen or hypoxia-induced headaches are typically characterized by their throbbing nature, which may be felt on one or both sides of the head. Other symptoms like dizziness, lightheadedness, and fatigue often accompany these headaches. However, chronic headaches may interfere with daily activities, work, and leisure making it challenging to concentrate focus. You don't want your headache to get so severe to the point of affecting your life. So once it becomes too much, seek medical help immediately. Two, fatigue or weakness. Oxygen is vital for cellular respiration, producing energy through adenylene triphosphate, ATP, within the cells. When oxygen levels are low, the energy production process is compromised, leading to decreased energy levels in the body. The effect of low oxygen on energy production is usually seen in tissues of the body and organs with higher energy demands, such as the muscles and brain. As a result, people with low oxygen levels in their blood experience a persistent feeling of tiredness or a lack of energy, affecting their well-being. Fatigue and weakness affect a person's stamina and physical endurance, making maintaining physical activity or exercise routines challenging. Over time, excess fatigue could also lead to prolonged hypoxia, i.e. thinning of muscle mass. 3. Shortness of breath Shortness of breath, medically known as dyspnea, is a distressing symptom characterized by difficulty breathing or not getting enough air. It is a common sign of hypoxemia, which occurs when the blood has low oxygen levels. Shortness of breath can range from mild to severe and can occur during physical activities or while at rest. When oxygen levels are low, the body attempts to compensate by increasing the respiratory rate. This increased breathing rate is an effort to take in more oxygen and remove carbon dioxide, a waste product of cellular metabolism. However, despite the increased breathing rate, the body may still struggle to meet its oxygen demands, leading to breathlessness. However, shortness of breath can have various underlying causes and it's good to try to identify and address the root issue for proper management. Some common causes of shortness of breath in hypoxemia include heart problems, anemia, and lung disorder. Other factors like obesity, anxiety, certain medications, or infections can also contribute to shortness of breath. Four, cyanosis. Cyanosis is a severe warning sign of low oxygen levels in the blood. It often looks like a bluish or greyish discoloration of the skin, lips and nails due to the increased deoxygenated haemoglobin concentration in the blood vessels. Haemoglobin is the molecule in red blood cells responsible for carrying oxygen throughout the body. When haemoglobin loses its oxygen, it becomes darker in colour, resulting in the characteristic bluish tint seen in cyanosis. Additionally, the bluish discoloration is primarily seen in areas where the skin is thinner and the blood flow is slower, such as the lips, fingertips, earlobes and nail beds. In darker skinned individuals, cyanosis may be easier to identify in these regions, as the contrast between the standard skin colour and the bluish colour is more pronounced. If you experience cyanosis symptoms, visit a healthcare professional urgently for a checkup. 5. Chest pain Several illnesses, including heart disease, respiratory problems, and gastrointestinal troubles can cause chest pain. However, one of the most common causes of chest pain is a lack of oxygen to the heart muscle, a disease known as angina. When the coronary arteries that provide blood to the heart muscle become restricted or obstructed, blood flow to the heart is reduced. 
This decreased blood flow can result in chest pain or discomfort, commonly described as a tightness, pressure, or a squeezing sensation in the chest. However, angina is usually caused by physical exertion or emotional stress rather than a lack of oxygen. When there is insufficient oxygen, the heart muscles may not work effectively, resulting in chest pain. Chest pain can also signify more serious medical issues, such as a heart attack or a pulmonary embolism. So, it's advised to get medical attention if you have chest pain or discomfort, especially if additional symptoms like shortness of breath, nausea or dizziness accompany it. 6. Rapid breathing When you experience low oxygen in the blood, your heart responds by trying to compensate for the lack of oxygen. Tachycardia, commonly known as a rapid heartbeat, is one of the heart's reactions to this oxygen deficiency. The heart attempts to pump more blood through the circulatory system to ensure vital organs and tissues receive enough oxygen but beats faster while at it. As the heart beats faster, it increases the delivery of the limited oxygen available to various body parts. This increased heart rate can often be felt as a palpable or noticeable sensation in your chest or as a pounding feeling in your neck or wrists. Additionally, prolonged tachycardia can contribute to the development of heart problems such as heart failure, abnormal heart rhythms, and cardiomyopathy. 7. Dizziness or lightheadedness Dizziness or lightheadedness is one of the common warning signs of low oxygen supply to the brain. The brain relies heavily on a continuous and sufficient oxygen supply to function optimally. When oxygen levels in the blood are low, the brain's oxygen supply decreases, leading to a feeling of dizziness or lightheadedness. The sensation of dizziness occurs because the brain's balance and spatial orientation centers are affected by insufficient oxygen. This disruption in normal brain function can lead to instability or unsteadiness, as if the world is spinning or tilting. People with hypoxemia may struggle to maintain their balance and may experience difficulty walking or standing upright. 8. Sweating Sweating happens during exercise, and the body's natural response to this situation is to increase blood flow and oxygen delivery to the tissues. Of course, that's normal, but when it's excess that you just begin to sweat profusely without reason, it is a common symptom that your blood has a low oxygen level. Additionally, hyperventilation and attempt to take in more oxygen can cause increased sweating as the body cools down. Also, various factors can contribute to sweating, including anxiety, stress, and certain medications like blood pressure or depressants. So, when you notice that your body is sweating more than normal, that's a bad sign you shouldn't ignore. 9. Confusion or disorientation When the body doesn't receive enough oxygen, the brain can be affected, leading to confusion or disorientation. You might feel unsure, need help concentrating, or experience memory problems. Your mind feels foggy, and you can't think clearly. If low oxygen levels persist or become severe, it can even lead to loss of consciousness, which means you may pass out. That's why it's important to get urgent medical help if you or someone else show signs of confusion, disorientation, and other symptoms of low oxygen. 10. High blood pressure. Sometimes, low oxygen levels in the blood can cause high blood pressure. When the body senses it's not getting enough oxygen, it goes into action mode, it responds by tightening the blood vessels, raising our blood pressure. This is the body's attempt to make sure enough blood and oxygen still reach our essential organs. But here's the thing, if this high blood pressure sticks around for too long, it can become a problem. Prolonged high blood pressure can lead to cardiovascular issues like heart attack, heart failure and valve disease, which affect our heart and blood vessels. One way you can keep your blood pressure in check is by monitoring it. In many pharmacies and healthcare centers, checking blood pressure is free, so you can just walk into one close to you to check your blood pressure level. Medically, the normal blood pressure is 90 over 50 to 120 over 50. If you check and it's higher or lower than that, don't ignore it. If you're experiencing any of the 10 signs in this video, it's best to seek medical attention immediately. Low oxygen levels in the blood can have serious consequences, sometimes leading to death if not adequately treated. However, with immediate treatment, you can return to feeling your best and enjoying good health.